Mathematics Advanced Subsidiary Level Paper 2 2022 Part 4 Mathematics Advanced Subsidiary Level Paper 2 2022 Part 4 Let's start with question number 6. Express 2 sin theta plus square root 5 cos theta in the form r sin theta plus alpha where r is bigger than 0, very important, and alpha is between 0 and 90. Give the value of alpha correct to 2 decimal places. Okay, let's start. You will find a very nice example on page 461 and you can the example that you can look at is example two, 22 in the AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Okay, let's start. 2 sin theta plus square root 5 cos theta and it must be expressed as r sin theta plus alpha. Okay, let's just go to our formula sheet that compound angles. So let's just find, I want you to use, show you how to use your formula sheet. So let's just go and find that compound angle. Oh, there, I already highlighted for you. At trigonometry, there sin, do you see it's in brackets A plus B and then it breaks up in sin A, second one, cos B, cos A, sin B. And if there's a plus, it stays a plus. But if it's a cos, it, the plus will change into a negative and the negative will change. So use your formula sheet because that's what I'm going to. I'm going to expand that bracket now to that. Okay, now let's just go back and let's just go and do it. Okay, so let's just go and I'm, I'm going to expand that. So it's going to be equal to R, then it's going to be sin theta cos alpha plus R cos theta sin alpha. Okay. So basically, it's just going to be, now I'm going to compare. It's almost it's like an identity. So if I compare, I will, I will compare now this. Do you see? Sin theta. And everything that's there, I'm going to put it equal to. So I'm going to say, okay, let's just write it down, that 2 is equal to R cos alpha. Okay. And now I'm doing the same here, square root, um, it's this that I compare, do you see? So equal to this. So I'm going to say then square root 5 is equal to R sin alpha. Okay, this is equation 1 and equation 2. Now remember, I want to go, go to tan. Now tan is sin divide by cos. So it will be equation 2 divide by equation 1. Don't make the mistake to change it around. So I will just say, okay, so if I'm looking at that, I'm going to say tan, so it's going to be sin theta over cos theta. Okay, I can even write it like this. Sin alpha over cos alpha, I said it incorrect, um, is equal, so th therefore tan alpha is equal to square root 5. So make sure you put the correct one on top. Okay, now press on your calculator. So therefore, tan alpha is equal to, oh no, just alpha, because I'm going to work it out. So make sure your calculator is on degrees. So then just go shift and press tan and press bracket and press square root 5 divide 2, close the bracket, equals, and I'm getting, and they said two decimal places, so 48.19 degrees. But now, please remember, in this question, it's not stated so. Sometimes they're nice, they state it. But you must also work out the value of R, because it's expressed this in the form this. 
Did you see? They, they highlighted this, but you still have to work out R. And how do you work out R? You're going to say, and I'm going to use, just use another color. You're going to say, I take that value and I square. And I take this value and I square, and that's equal to R square. So this is going to be 4 plus 5, which is 9. But remember, R is positive. It is. It is. R is plus minus the square root of 9, which is plus minus 3. But R is bigger, or R, let's rather just put it like this, R bigger than 0, so therefore R is equal to 3. So you can even conclude by this step. So therefore, um, you can then say 2 sin uh, theta plus square root 5 cos theta is equal to, and now you can put in the R, and you say it's sin, and you say it's theta plus that 48.19, that. So express, that's also part of the question. So you have to also work out the value of R, although it was not specified so in the last part. Okay. Next one. Now, solve the equation. Now, actually, I'm going to start with, uh, because I'm going to say this, okay, so I can almost say like this. So, start with this, say 2 sin theta plus square root 5 cos theta is equal to 2.4. And then 3 sin theta plus 48.19 is equal to 2.4. So basically, I, I'm, just, I'm just substituting this in the place of this. Okay, and now I can solve it. So now I can say sin theta plus 48.19 and divide on the other side. So 2.4 divide by 3. Okay, now I'm back at trigonometry. It's almost chapter 4 that I'm back at now. So now I'm just going to remember my cost diagram. Okay, I just want to take another color. My cost diagram. Do you see that this is positive? Now where is sin positive? It's in the first. Think of your cost. It's in the first and the second. Okay, so first I will get my key angle, my reference angle, my base angle. Doesn't matter, so um, let's call it your base angle. And then I'm just going to press on my calculator, shift, sin, and remember not in radians, so bracket 2.4, divide 3, close the bracket, equals. And then it will be 53 point, make it 1, 3. It's always safe. Okay, to, if you make an extra decimal place. So now, don't forget, that is 50.13, and that is also, so I want this one, but I also want this one. So I can say, then I have sin theta plus 48.19 is equal to that 53.13. That is one answer. So Let's finish this this one. Oh, sorry, I, I don't want to I make a mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, that sin must not be there because I already worked it out. Did you see? It's only the bracket. Okay. So then, so always look up. As soon as I wrote it down, I realized mm, and I, I, the sin. So then, just, just scratch the sin. Don't don't you can you don't have to clean it. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to say then theta is equal to fifty three point one three. Okay, 0.13 minus 48.19. So you go 53.13 minus 48.19 equals, and that will be, if one decimal place, 4.9 degrees. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one, you're going to say theta plus 48.19, but now it's that you know, 180 minus, so 180 minus that 53.13. So then I'm just going to say to get that theta, so it's 180 minus 53.13. So it was that 126, you don't have to write that step. 
you can just do it on the calculator. 1 to 6, don't approximate, minus that 48.19, okay? So it's 1 to 6.87 uh, minus 48.19, and I'm getting one decimal place. It's always good. I, I didn't write it here. I want to say rather write 78.68 and then say 78.7. The same here. If it was 50, I want to also correct. So it's not necessary, but it maybe can help you to get a point if you maybe did the approximation incorrect. 48.19. It was actually... <laughs> that was not the idea. Um, it was 4.94 and then it was 4.9. So theta, theta. And that was the, and don't forget your degrees. Okay, and that's how I do this. And now I come to the last one. Okay, I leave the report. I will do the report at the end. So they say, state the greatest and the least value of this. As theta over rise. Now, that's a brilliant example. You have to look at example 464, example 24 in my textbook, A is level mathematics, Y equals MX plus C. So, basically, you are going to have that 2 sin, 2 sin theta plus square root 5 cos theta. Okay is equal to 3 sin, I just write it down, that's the statement I'm working with. Okay, but before you go there, I, I want you to think of the graph, okay, a sin graph, you have to because that, that's very important. So if you look at the sin graph, the sin graph is like this, that's very important, the normal basic sin x. So the maximum point will be 1, and the minimum point will be negative 1. And that's what I'm going to work with. So I'm going to say, and I'm going to work with this 3. So I'm going to say that sin, okay, so to get that maximum value, I'm going to say that sin, uh, alpha, and you can put that 48.19, doesn't matter. I'm actually only working with this 1 because I want. So I'm going to take that and... I'm going to, because it's positive, I'm going to just take that. So for the maximum value, I'm going to just take that free, that free, and I multiply with 1, and I get 3. And then for the minimum, I'm going to take this value, and it's going to be negative 1. Okay, and now, so for this minimum value, I take that 3, and I multiply with negative 1, and I get negative 3. So the maximum value will be 3, the minimum value will be negative 3. Okay, let's go to that exam report. So let's see what they are telling me on the exam report. I must say, I'm very impressed with the exam report. I like that it's really helping you, it's it really stating where... You make mistakes, and it's very thoroughly done, and that's good for me. Keep it up for the people who's doing it. Okay, so uh, number six, so moderately answer. It was sadly seen quite often that candidates failed to calculate the value of R is free, only doing so when they realized that they needed it in part B. It should be noted that square root 9 is a natural number and could not be left in the root form. So that means you cannot, because it's Otherwise, it means plus minus, and the question state R is bigger than zero. So you cannot leave it there. You have to take only the positive part out, and that's free. Okay. So a common mistake. So always work out the R, even if it's because they said express in the form, and then it means you must substitute the R and the alpha. So a common mistake in the calculation of alpha was to use to, to use it the other way around. So instead of that square root 5. So just make sure. Because tan is sin over cos. It was should be seen how many candidates did not adhere to rounding instruction of two decimal places. Always highlight it. 
it should be emphasized again that it's it's to the candidate's advantage to always write the full calculator display first before rounding its it attempt. Okay, so always, and that's what I did in B. It's always just good. It's just it's almost like a safety net. The candidates who did this could get the mark for the angle as their answer was seen more accurately. And I think I didn't do it in that one. In question number one, I just want to see shift tan uh, bracket uh, square root five divide two close the bracket equal. I will now go and write it in. Okay, I see I didn't write it in. It's just your safety net. Okay, so I didn't do it there, but I will go and edit that. Uh, okay, so it uh, before it, this could get the mark for the angle as their answer was seen more accurate in the required. It was occasionally seen that candidates did not read the question properly and calculate that their alpha value in radians. No, check. So number B is moderately answered. Many candidates did not realize that they needed to work in two quadrants. Care should be taken when candidates are taught how to deal with compound angles. Look on your formula sheet. They should realize that they could not just subtract the final answer from the solution of the first quadrant from 180 to find the solution to the angle in the second. It's in two quadrants, two answers. It was also often seen that candidates used the general solution in this question and did not realize that some of their solutions are outside the given domain. This resulted in the loss of an accuracy mark. And then the last one, extremely poorly answered. The minority um, of candidates realized that it was tested in this question that they knew that the maximum value of this is negative, um, the minimum is negative one, and the maximum is one, and then you just multiply it with the three. Okay, and then let's just finalize this. Okay, so, oh, yeah, it's nice. Then it's just all the answers. Okay, and there they gave you, and this. I want to just go back to that question paper and I just wanted to show you and I want to bring what they showed me now. They basically just said what they said. I want to bring it in. Okay, so basically what they said in that A statement. Before you write, rather just go theta equals and I press it on the calculator again and I got 48.18968. Five one degrees. They said first write it unapproximated, and then you approximate it to two decimal places. So it seems to me if you did that, then they could have gave you still that accuracy mark. Okay. So I also sometimes forget to write the full calculated display, but if I pick it up, I will come back. And, and there I did it. There, there I also did it. So always do that. That is all right. If you just go for for at least two or three, then your accuracy will be. 100% correct. As your final exams approach, I want to highlight the importance of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbooks. If you don't have them yet, you can find them at the following bookshops. These textbooks will be your reliable study companions, guiding you towards mathematical success. For educators aiming for exceptional maths exam results, start using the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbooks used by leading schools in your classroom. They are part of the NEET catalog and can be easily obtained within your ministry's textbook budget. Make sure to communicate your request to your region's procurement department to empower your learners with the best educational resources. Furthermore, schools have the option to place direct orders with us and we offer bulk order discounts. Reach out to us via email at the address below. Best of luck in your maths journey.